You're right. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you probably the simplest thing you can do on a MacBook Pro, and that's to replace the RAM, the random access memory for you geeks out there. Um, yeah, I've got four gigabytes in the moment. This is the early 2011 MacBook Pro 13 inch. Um, obviously powered off like it should be for the last five to ten minutes to cool it down a bit. Um, I have four gigabytes in it at the moment. It's the Core i5 2.3 gigahertz model. I went for the cheapest option, even though it's still a grand, but oh well. And what I'm going to decide to do now, because I've been experiencing quite a lot of slowdowns recently, even in simple tasks like browsing, just completely slowing down and forced closing and having to restart the machine is starting to annoy me. So I've gone and ordered. If we can get a focus on that. There we go. Two four gigabyte DDR3 1333 megahertz RAM from crucial.co.uk. I think it was about £30, pretty good deal. And I'll show you how to do it today. So, basically, what you have to do is you have on the back of the case here, come on, iPhone focus, you have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws to take out, and you need a Phillips hash zero. Focus in on you. One of them anyway, very small. Just went down to Argos and bought one. And so I'm going to take these out. Uh, I am a very, very lazy person, so I'm not going to bother even editing this video so that it speeds up through this bit because I cannot be asked. So if you manage to stick with me all the way through at the end, bear in mind two screws here are longer than the rest of them. Very long one. You have to make sure you know which screws go in where. So I normally just put them next to where the hole came out. That made no sense at all. Next to the hole they came from. That probably didn't make much, make much sense either. Oh dear. Come on, you piece of shit. Well, hopefully this... Uh, I lie, there's a long screw there as well. Hopefully this uh, increases the performance of this Mac. If not, then I don't know what the fucking hell is wrong with it. I think the, re um, the Lion update has slowed down quite a lot of Macs. If you see my disgusting side of my head and my face in the video, I do apologise for scarring you. But, I don't care. I know what's going to happen now. Oh dear. My dog is going to jump straight on my camera. Because she's excited because my mother has just returned. Or, my mum's going to come up here and open the door. And see me talking to myself. And think I'm a complete retard. Or both. Actually, pretty likely. Yeah, she's going to come in and see me and think I'm a retard. Go on, then, dog. Back off. If you hear people talking and being all retarded, other than me, it's them. Alright, now we have all the screws out. Simply lift the plate off. And look at that. I feel dirty in there. Um, you see the hard drive down here. Not exactly large. And the RAM, if I'm correct. I'm gonna, is it right? Right there. Okay, so put that back where it was. And basically, what you have to do is you flick these two little bits here and slowly pull it out. Put that to one side. And 
And the second one, do the same. Make sure it's not wedged. So you pull it out. And then we can see the new one here from Crucial. I'll open this up. I should have really opened it up to start with, but if you've seen any other of my videos, you'll know that I do not prepare for anything because I am a retard. There we go, we got it open, we got it open. Let's get this one. Okay. And basically, get that out of the way, stick it in there. down make sure it's in let me do the second one In. Snap back into place, and that is how you do that. And uh, yeah, you move you in. Let's see, it doesn't say on this side. Oh, yes, it does. Four gigabytes hard drive, CD ROM bit, tiny fan, motherboard. Goodbye.